Tabby McTat by Julia Donaldson and Axel Scheffler. Read by Daddy. Tabby McTat was a busker's cat with a meow that was loud and strong. The two of them sang of this and that and people threw coins in the old checked hat and this was their favourite song. Me, you and, and the old guitar, old guitar How perfectly, perfectly happy we are Me, you and the old guitar How perfectly happy we are One morning, while Fred ate some bacon and bread, McTat took a stroll round the block, then stopped, for there on a doorstep sat a gorgeously glossy and green-eyed cat. She was black, with one snowy white sock. Sock and McTat had a cat-to-cat -cat chat, and that's how their story began. For while they were chatting of this and of that, a thief had his eye on the old checked hat. He eyed it, he snatched it, he ran. The busker gave chase, but he tripped on a lace and crash, in a flash he was down. He broke his leg and he banged his head, and he ended up in a hospital bed in a faraway part of town. Goodbye, McTat said. I must get back to Fred. But where had the busker gone? The sun went down and the sky grew black. The stars came out, but he didn't come back. McTat lingered on and on. A week later, Sock took a stroll round the block and found her new friend looking thin. You've gone off and left me, said Tabby McTat. Then Sock said, My people, Prunella and Pat, would gladly find room for a fine tabby cat. She was right, and they took McTat in. Meow. Next morning, old Fred left his hospital bed and found his way back to the square. But a brass band stood where the pair once sat, and the band played this and the band played that, and Fred looked all round for his loud meowed cat, but Tabby McTat wasn't there. Meow. Now McTat had a wife, and a very full life, with plenty of things to do, like washing Prunella and pouncing on Pat, and hiding the car keys under the mat and keeping the newspapers nice and flat, and giving the pens an occasional bat, and nibbling this and nibbling that, but he dreamed of his friend with the old checked hat, and he always woke up with a mew, and often he said, What happened to Fred? And his paws took him back to the square. But a conjurer stood where the pair once sat, and he pulled out this and he pulled out that, and people threw coins in the tall black hat, but the busker was never there. Meow. One morning, Sock said, Look under the bed and see the three kittens I've had. And Soames looked like this, and Susan like that, and the littlest kitten called Samuel Spratt looked exactly the same as his dad. The three kittens grew, and they learned how to mew, and McTat sometimes sang them his song. And Samuel Spratt, with his grey tabby fur, had a deafening meow and a very loud purr, and he simply loved singing along. Me, you and the old guitar, how perfectly, perfectly happy we are. Me, you and the old guitar, how perfectly happy we are. When Susan and Soames found very good homes, their parents were happy and proud. There was one home like this, and another like that. But nobody wanted poor Samuel Spratt. They all said, His, His voice, voice is too, too loud. Now Tabby McTat was a home-loving cat, but he couldn't stop dreaming of Fred. And one day he called for his wife and his son, and he told them, There's something that has to be done. I must go and find him, he said. So up and down and all over town, he wandered the whole week long. For many a morning and afternoon, by the light of the sun and the light of the moon, till he heard a familiar song. Just me and the old guitar, if I had a cat I'd be happier for. Just me and the old guitar, with my cat I'd be happier for. Hey, it's Tabby McTat, it's my long lost cat. 
Old Fred was ecstatically glad. Then the two of them sang of this and that, and people threw coins in the new checked hat. But why did McTat feel sad? He was missing his wife and his comfortable life, and the dozens of things to do, like washing Prunella, and pouncing on Pat, and hiding the car keys under the mat, and keeping the newspapers nice and flat, and giving the pens an occasional bat. But how could he tell the busker that? Then, out of the shadow, sprang Samuel Spratt. Oh, let me be the busker's cat, he said with a deafening mew. Now Samuel Spratt is the busker's cat, with a meow that is loud and strong. The two of them sing of this and that, though Samuel sings just a little bit flat, and people throw coins in the old checked hat, and this is their favourite song. Me, you and the old guitar, how perfectly, perfectly happy we are. Me, you and the old guitar, how perfectly happy we are.